Hey guys, broadcasting to you from internet land today. Sorry for the uh, kind of chaotic nature of this, but this is an important story that we need to bring to you as quickly as possible. Here in Wales, it can be tough to find good internet access. And here at this location, once again, internet land, I will have it linked in the description. You can get some really good service for an incredibly good price. So let's get moving on to the story at hand. Is Jeff Bay Bezos in trouble with the U.S. government. Hello, YouTube. I'm the Angry Astronaut, and this is... So by now, just about everybody knows about the whole anomaly that happened with New Shepard on this unmanned mission that had over 70 experiments on board. However, in spite of the fact that the abort system worked out perfectly, things really didn't work out as far as Congress is concerned, and that's something that apparently has been getting some news as of late. Yesterday, on September 15th, in a letter to Billy Nolan, who's the acting administrator of the FAA, Representatives Don Bayer, who's a Democrat from the state of Virginia, and Brian Babin, a Republican from the state of Texas, requested more transparency into the FAA's investigation of the anomaly. Why are they doing this? Well, to put it bluntly, because people could have been on this rocket, and that makes it very different from most missions. Quote, on a different day with a different mission, this vehicle's anomaly could have put human lives in danger, they wrote. And incidentally, Bayer and Babin are the chair and ranking member, respectively, of the House's Science Committee Space Subcommittee, <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. And they mention their responsibility of providing oversight of the FAA's Commercial Space Transportation Office and Commercial Launch and Reentry in general for their desire for more information into the investigation, including, of course, the root cause and steps to correct the problem that caused it. It, and they also asked for a briefing of the subcommittee staff in 10 days. That is an extremely short time frame. Now, does that mean that they are incredibly upset about this issue? Are they looking to put the screws to Blue Origin in order to provide this information as rapidly as possible? Well, the FAA would be unlikely to produce any sort of meaningful data within 10 days, which means, in my opinion, this is kind of congressional showboating. They're trying to flex their muscles, kind of demonstrate just how important they are as far as their oversight is concerned over manned and unmanned spaceflight, and they just want to make it very clear that you can't do these sorts of things without us at least looking into it. Does that mean that they're very serious about this issue, that they're looking to shut things down if they don't receive the appropriate response within 10 days? I really doubt it. Once again, Again, I think this is purely politics and not a serious investigation that's going to have serious consequences. That having been said, though, it doesn't mean that this has no consequences for Jeff Bezos and his organization. At this point, he's going to have to provide greater transparency into the operations of his spacecraft, perhaps New Shepard, perhaps more than that, in order to satisfy Congress. He'll have to go a lot more public than he's been accustomed to doing in the past and that is significant. So is this a big deal? Well, not in the grand scheme of things, but still, it's probably going to demand that Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin provide more information than they would like to do. In the end result, though, I think New Shepard will be flying again soon, and I think overall, the safety protocols and safety measures of this spacecraft were adequately demonstrated during the most recent anomaly. Stay tuned to my channel for more information on space flight here in the UK, Europe, and elsewhere. And also, as always, stay angry about space.